Okay, so now I have all this filled out. Um, I decided to call my app iJoeTech, and I give it a description, some keywords, um, and then I gave it uh, support URL, which just disappeared. So I'll type that back in. And then my support email. Uh, and then we have three images that it requires here. Probably can't read it, that's all right. Um, the first is the app icon. These I didn't even uh, know about, so I had to stop and create these. You'll probably want to do this ahead of time as well. Your application icon should be 57 by 57 pixels and 24-bit PNG um, at 72 DPI. Then you have a splash image. Uh, that That's what shows up when the application first loads up. That should be 320 by 480. And then uh, that one's also PNG. And then a larger image, 512 by 512, JPEG or TIFF at 72 DPI. And that's what shows up in the iTunes store. And that should pretty much look uh, kind of like your icon. Mine, mine does. So once I have all that filled in, then I just click Save. And it gathered all my images, as you can see here. So I get a little preview of them. And uh, that's about it. So all that's saved successfully, it says. Next step is to publish. So it says, please ensure you've completed the following steps before publishing. Add your content and make sure you're, you own the content and have rights to use it. That's not a problem, my blog's been up for years. Uh, design your app with your brand. Done that. And fill in the app metadata and upload necessary creatives, which I've done in that last step there. After publishing the app, you will be presented with the option to activate and pay for the app submission. So let's do that. So I click publish. And it asks me what what option I want. I, As I said before, I'm going with the $25 option. So now it has all my, my uh, PayPal information and for this I'm just going to log into my PayPal. So Okay, so I went to iSites and I got everything uh, set up and about a week and a half later or so I now have, uh, if you can see here, I have my iPhone and on my iPhone I have an icon might be kind of hard to see for iJoeTech and I click that and it pulls up my iPhone application I don't have the droid phone with me so I can't uh, check that out yet but it comes up and it's gonna load up all my recent articles I can scroll through all my articles here I can pick out an article this one I've got the the Nokia uh, phone review I just completed recently and you can read it and it sizes the images uh, the main images anyway, the large ones to fit. And it's pretty simple. Scrolls right through. I've got my banner up at the top here. Hit my back button. Um, the other cool thing about this app that I like is you can favorite stuff. That requires you to actually log in. But uh, I can click the little uh, envelope at the bottom and I can email, tweet, or post it to Facebook. So that's kind of cool, and I already tested it out by send, uh, sending out a tweet with one of my posts. So you do that, and it just asks for your Twitter or Facebook credentials, and, and it makes a post for you with the URL to your, your uh, blog post from the application. So we've got the app installed, and it's in the, the Marketplace or App Store. Now here I've got my uh, App Store statistics. Um, over here I just went over to Analytics and it shows my statistics it shows me here it's showing app downloads so you can see I got 23 downloads uh, that those 23 downloads were before I even knew the app was in the App Store so that was pretty cool and then it kind of tamed down it was just because it was a new app uh, and then maybe after I write about this post a few more of you will download it and rate it five stars so then there's also app views which shows 
how many people took a look at my application. So it's pretty cool. You can mouse over and see how many views for that day. Um, and you can look at, you can't see it here, but uh, uh, you can do one day, three day, one month, three month, etc. And you have a drop down if you have multiple apps, you can select which ones. So uh, the third item here, the third tab is popular content. And that just shows you, and I probably won't have a whole lot of data here. Uh, looks like I don't actually have any data here because it's such a new app. But that's going to show me what uh, information on my uh, iPhone app, what articles people are reading the most. So that's about it. A uh, week and a half, about 15 minutes of my time, and $25 got me an application that runs on the iPhone and has already been downloaded by a bunch of people and uh, also runs on the Android platform and I don't know the statistics on that it would be interesting to find out but I don't, I don't see an option for that so iSites.us uh, great service if you have a blog drop the $25 and, uh, and check it out uh, also go to joetech.com uh, there's a link in the sidebar uh, you can click that link and go and read the full review and see some screenshots of the app etc